I'm Anil Kumar. Let me first thank all my viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent question. Now in response to your question on rational and irrational numbers, here is my video. We'll discuss in this video which of the following are irrational numbers and I'll try to explain why. I've taken five numbers here, all are real numbers. Square root 3, square root 121, pi 0 0.1234. These ellipses indicate that goes on the series like 5, 6, 7, 8 and so on. And the second number here is also a non-terminating number 0 0.1212. But here it repeats 1212, right? So we have in this example last two numbers as non-terminating let me write here both of them are non-terminating however this one is the second one is repeating and the first one is non-repeating correct so what we talked about in our video is that the numbers which are non-terminating and repeating are actually rational numbers since they can be written in the form of p over q right now i think most of you know the answer so let's write down our answer so rational numbers are donated by the letter q so we'll say q is for rational numbers So, what do you think are rational numbers out of these five? Well, the rational numbers are these two. 121 and the non-terminating repeating number. The reason being that the non-terminating repeating number can be written as a fraction, as a rational number, p over q. Now, let us see why square root 3 is not a rational number. So I'm using a calculator here and we'll find the value of square root 3. So what is square root 3 equal to? So it gives us a value 1.73205080 As you can see, the numbers after decimal it definitely go on and on and there is no pattern in them, right? So let me write this number. So 0 0.13, as you have seen, is equals to 1.73205080 and so on. So they are non-terminating decimal numbers which do not repeat. They don't have any pattern. Now let me calculate what is square root of 121. Right. So as you know, it is 11. Right. So this is 11. So 11 could be written as a rational number. Of course, I can write 11 as... 11 over 1 correct so it becomes a rational number i am able to write it as p over q where q is not zero we'll take up another video to describe why division by zero is not valid now let's try to see the value of pi right that is a very interesting number and most of you know that people are working hard to find what this number is pi can be written as 3.5 one four one five nine two six five four and so on right so we really don't know how to write pi as a rational number and therefore it is again a rational number right similar is the case with this number one two three four it does have a pattern every number is increasing by one right but still we are unable to write this as a fraction, right? So that may not be a rational number. The last number here is 0 0.1212. We see there is a pattern 1212 which repeats. So we know the repeating pattern. Since we know the repeating pattern, we can write this as a rational number. Now in this exercise, let us see how to write it as a rational number right so let that be the case 
so let's say the number x is equals to 0 0.1212 1, 2, and so on right in that case i could write 100x as what i could write 100x as 12.1212 repeating correct now if i do 100x minus x that is if i take away the value of x from x I get the number 12 and all those repeating patterns disappear it becomes 0 right so what we get here is 12.0 perfect and on the left side what we have is 99x so 99x is 12.0 so we can write x as equal to 12.0 divided by 99 so that becomes a rational number right so we have a rational number which can be written as 0 0.1212 and it is 12 divided by 99 right so 12 divided by 99 is 0 0.1212 and so on which you can also write as 0 0.12 recurring correct let's check our answer so we found that the number is 12 divided by 99 what is it equal to so on the calculator you can see that we can actually write 0 0.1212 repeating right number as a rational number so it is definitely a rational number so i hope now it is clear to you how we can write repeating non-terminating non-terminating numbers as a rational number and we are calling them as rational numbers correct so that is how we could actually figure out whether a number is irrational or irrational i hope that makes sense right so most of the square root numbers right most of the square root numbers which do not have a perfect square right which are not perfect squares are irrational so in the category of irrational numbers you can say uh, we have two major categories one are these kinds and the other one are the ones which have non-terminating and non-repeating pattern right so that becomes a group of irrational numbers so i hope that makes things clear feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you like, subscribe to my videos that would be great Thanks for watching and all the best.